Hey Zwerge, hallo Fans, it's time for Melody Festival 2022. I will listen back to all 12 finalists. I watched them before, but now it's a recap reaction. That means snippets of each song. I will say my personal opinion. Afterwards, I will say who is my winner and who should and who will win Melody Festival 2022. It was a big wish of a big fan of my channel. And I will do it, of course, to do a recap reaction. A reaction to the Melody Festival. I will be in a live show in the France Arena at Saturday. I can't wait to see the live show. So don't forget, I will do more reaction videos, not just to Melody Festival, of course, to much, much more. So pre parties, I will be in Torino. So don't forget to subscribe my channel. And now it's time for the recap reaction of Melody Festival. And I would say, let's get into it. So you see my t shirt. Two years ago, I was there live in the Friends Arena where the Mamas won against Dota with one point difference. I was disappointed, but in the end, it was Corona and there was no performance of the Mamas. But now, let's see the recap reaction. And thank you for the recap reaction, uh, for the recap of Mr. Eurasia. Thank you so much. So the first video song, I can say I like it, but it's like, it feels like a song 15, 20 years ago, a bit outdated, but good mood. This is my winner, I love her, she's brilliant. The only thing is the big waffle in the background, it's like, I hate it. So I would change it a bit to Torino when she will win. I have to say, when I was watching it for the first time, I loved it. I watched it again yesterday, I was like, it's okay. I love this EDM song. I love it. This is my second favorite behind Cornelia. I love the staging and the performance. Very polished, love it, love it. Very nice Swedish ballad. So the next Swedish song, great voice, but um, Too Late For Love was much, much better. But you can be proud of this song. I like it. <laughs> I like it. I think that could be a better song for her, but it's a good answer. Like it. I hope she will come back tone. So Casio Paya. I like it, but it's not my winner. I think not even my top five. I don't know. I'm not sure about the the outfit. Faith, Kakembo. It reminds me of Tussa. That's a female version of Tussa. Of course, the song is different, but I like it. One of the favorites to win as well, Anders Banger, Bigger Than the Universe. His voice is great, but it's so outdated. It's so outdated. Sorry, guys, but then he will win. In strong usual years, this would be a non qualifier. Other band is amazing, but the song Higher Power. The whole performance was horse, 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 horses, horses running, jumping all over the place in the LED. It looks great, great but her outfit. And the next Swedish song. It reminds me of Bella Ciao, a Swedish version of Bella Ciao. So, Clara must room. I like the song last year, but this song is stronger. But I think she could be could have a much much better song. The staging in many of the performances here from the Defense are not that great for me uh, because because of Corona they had to perform in the other arena before, and I hate the staging because for example under Spago you have the LED and then you have a wide shot that it is distracting me, it gets me out of the performance every time with many many performances and the same with Clara Hammerstrom I love her outfit, not the bit here, the color especially the same with Anna Bernda, the outfit was just okay choices, it doesn't fit to the staging, the color was just awful <laughs> but Anna Bernda is amazing Clara Hammerstrom, again back to her, Clara Hammerstrom is one of the favorites, it's a dark horse but I think that she could have a much better song. The staging I like. I hope it looks much, much better in the Friends Arena. So this is one to watch out. Anna Bergendahl, sorry, Kingdom Come was like millions times, million times better than, um, what was the song? 
higher power, I think. So uh, I hope she will come back and win and then go into the final at Eurovision. So um, Anna Beanda, come back into the stronger song, please. So then we had, oh, we had so many songs. We have 12 of them. Um, we had the Medina song. As I said, it reminds me of the Swedish version of Bella Ciao, especially in the chorus. Uh, maybe I'm the only one, but all the time when I listen to a song, I'm like, oh, Bella Ciao, Bella Ciao, Ciao, Ciao. Uh, Anna Spargel, please don't win. Sweden, I don't have anything against him, but the song is just outdated. It is, sorry, the staging, as I said, with many performances, it's, it's distracting me when we have wide shot and um, I think closer shots would be nice, but the LED and yeah, it's like not the best staging idea of the world. I will change it, but the sound sample is just outdated. The jury will like it. I know that he's famous in Sweden, so he can win, but for Eurovision, Mm -mm, please not, please, please not. Then we have Faith Kag uh, Kagembo with Freedom. I like the song. It's really friendly, but I think this is like midfield at its best. Then Kasi Opaya. I like it, I like her voice, but I think she could have a better song. Um, the outfit is a bit, it's not mine. A bit too much, reminds me of Montaigne a bit. Uh, very clownish. I'm sorry, but I don't like the outfit, but the song is good. And I would wish that um, Casio Paya would come back or will come back. Then we have Tone and this is my way. As I said, it's like the same with Casio Paya, a better song, and then she would have a better chance to win. It is a good anthem. I like it. Of course, you have this dress reveal. Um, but you can be proud. I hope you will come back. It's not a winner. It's not strong enough to win. John Lundwig, as I said, too late for love was like a million times better. It is a nice Swedish ballad. I think Jury will give him some points, but it's not a winner at all. Then Liamo, it is my second favorite. I love it. I wanted to say a bit more to Liamo, Bluffin. I love it. Because when you have the wider shots, then it's still like intimate to him. It looks like he's in a box. We have this LED going more far than the LED itself. So the um, the light is going more left and right and it looks wider. And this looks much, much better when you, when you have a wider shot. And the EDM song is brilliant. I love it. So I would be happy when he would win as well. But I'm not sure. It's a dark horse, but I think it's between Cornelia and Anders Barge and maybe Clara Hammerstrom, but Bluffin by Liamo. Love it, love it, love it, love it. The next one is Robert Benson. I have to say, I like this song. I like this song a bit more than I can't go on, but when I was listening it again, I was like, uh, I don't know, maybe it's not the strongest one of all three songs. Consolation Prize was amazing. I can't go on, I like. Innocent Love, as I said, I was watching it for the second time or third time and then it lost some magic. For me personally, it's not one of the favorites, but I like him and I like the song. Now to hold me closer, Cornelia Jacobs. I love her. This is my winner. The other thing, as I said, is this big waffle. It reminds me of going to the church and like, I want to have this waffle, please. I don't get it with this waffle, playing with it. And it's like, why can you do it? different somehow, not just playing with it or like walling it. So completely like deleting it and then doing something great. I love the beginning when the camera is going to her, you have the lights. It is very emotional. Her voice is brilliant. So this is my winner, but please change the performance. I don't know. It's not mine with this buffer. And the first song I was listening to to the weekend reaction was the Swedish song Som du Will by Teos. Outdated. I think there are many people loving this, but it reminds me of the song 15 years ago, just in a Swedish version. Uh, the outfits, I don't know. And then you have the swords going left and right, and it was like, um, okay, I don't get it. So it's okay. It's not, I hate the song, but it's just not strong enough for me. And um, yeah. It's not my song. So my favorites are Cornelia's my winner. Second place is Bluffin, Liamo. Then I would say Clara Hammerstrom is 
high up, I would say. And then I think like tone. I think tone is good. And Clara, Cornelia, Liamo and tone. And a band that would be amazing, but the song, this outfit is just... And then, I mean, in the beginning I was like, oh my god, this looks very nice with the horses. And then a horse close up, then horses jumping, running, again horse, two horses, running left, right, horses, horses, horses. I was like, okay, can you do something different, please? It would be very nice to have a different... Project, uh, projection, LED, not just horses all the time, but okay. And the outfit of Anna Bernda is just... <laughs> no, please, no. It's not my um, outfit, but uh, she's amazing. Love her voice. And um, it was like a little touch of country in the beginning. And I was like, oh, please, don't, have, don't sing country right now. I hate country. And then it changed a bit more to a pop song. But it has some, some elements with, with country, country a bit. And I'm like, no, I hate it. So I don't like this song. And uh, the LED in the beginning, yes. But after 30 seconds, one minute, the horse theme is like a bit um, boring. So, um, yeah. So this is what I think about <laughs> the final list of all 12x. So what do you think? Who is the winner? By the way, I think that it's a fight between Cornelia, Anas, Liamo and Clara Hammerstrom. So what do you think? What is your favorite? Who is your favorite? Who is the winner of Melody Festival? Write a comment under the video. So what's your opinion about the lineup of Melody Festival 2022? Do you like my videos? Then of course, thumb up. And don't forget, I will do more reaction videos, not just to Melody Festival, for example. I will be in Stockholm, then pre-parties, I will be in Torino, it's much going on, much content, so don't forget to subscribe my channel, click the red button and the bell, and you don't miss any videos. Svergo, a big heart from Germany, maybe we'll see us there, I don't know, but I can't wait to see a live show in Stockholm, it is good weather, I think, this weekend or the weekend I'm there, so uh, this is very nice, no rain at all, and um, I can't wait to see a live show. And of course, I will do a reaction video to the winner. Of course, I will do a video from the arena. So I can't wait to see the live show. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.